The Message Studio is the application that allows you to design your own messages, import graphics and video clips, and create basic animations. Bear in mind that different display types will enable different options with the Message Studio. This application allows you to design from less complex one-frame messages to more elaborate multiple frame ones. There are two kinds of frames in the Message Studio, text and graphic frames. These are activated by the first two icons in the standard toolbar right above the active frame. Text frames are identified by a blinking cursor on the frame. They are used to design simple text messages as they offer a limited number of font styles, the Venus 1500 fonts designed by Dactronix, and fewer graphic options. However, they are a good option to create fast and easy messages. On the other hand, Galaxy, Sunspot, and Glowcube displays can use graphic frames in addition to text ones. These frames are more versatile as they allow you to create text and graphic messages or a combination of both. They offer Venus 1500 and TrueType fonts and are used to import graphics and video clips. If you zoom out in a graphic frame, you will notice a grid that represents the pixel height and width of your display. When you activate a text or a graphic in the Message Studio, you will observe different enabled bars. In this video, we will show you a general description of these bars, but you can refer to the PDF file in this section for a more detailed description of each of the buttons or icons in them. The standard toolbar is also similar to other applications. The different buttons allow you to open new or existing messages, copy one or all files, print them, cut, copy, and paste, and redo or undo actions. The zoom field contains an additional feature, the percentage box to adjust the zoom more accurately. This bar also contains a spell checker that is enabled both in text and in graphic frames, as well as a help menu. Below this bar, you have the frame toolbar to insert a text or a graphic frame and to copy or delete frames. Next to it is the font info bar, which varies depending on the type of frame you are positioned in and on the type of font selected. This bar allows you to select different font styles and sizes, write bold, italicized, and underlined text, vary font, foreground, and background colors, and add an outline, a shadow, or a smoothing effect. The toolbar to the left in the Message Studio allows you to select objects inside a frame, choose between writing in Venus 1500 or TrueType fonts, use a masking tool, add RTD or real-time data such as scores, the current time and date, or the temperature, as well as offer some drawing features. When you activate the drawing buttons, you will notice more options related to them next to the frame toolbar, such as align width, empty or filled shapes, etc. Right below the active frame, you can see a memory gauge which shows the memory used by the message you are creating once you click on the green Update button. You may notice that the maximum memory storage varies depending on the display type you control. Underneath this is the Play Frame toolbar to preview the active frame or the entire message, stop and pause the preview, and move between the frames. The Frame Duration box shows the duration of the active frame in either seconds, minutes, or hours. Please refer to the PDF file for more details on the time duration requirements for Globe Cube displays. The fraction to the right indicates the number of the active frame from the total number of frames of the message. To the right of the Message Studio screen, you'll see the sequence of frames you have created for a single message. The bottom of the Message Studio shows the Properties button to access the box where you can enter specific effects, transitions, and time durations to single or multiple frames. Next to this button are drop-down menus as shortcuts to set the effects and transitions for the active frame only. Finally, the color values of the active frame are indicated in the RGB or red, green, and blue field and the cursor position in the POS or position field.